Okay. So, now I think I've equipped you with enough things to know uh, a good amount about piercing. You know how to clean it. Uh, well, not clean it, but you know to rinse out your mouth with non-alcoholic mouthwash after eating and drinking. You can eat anything. Stay away from sauces or hot sauce. Um, nothing citrus, no fruits, unless they're, say, bananas or apples, maybe strawberries. Uh, grapes, I think, will be fine. But citrusy food, spicy, that type of thing. Um, also, um, after, depending on the pair, sir. After 8 to 10 or 2 weeks, after 8 to 10 days or 2 weeks or 30 days, um, they'll change out your barbell to a smaller uh, barbell if it is too big. Um, depending on how thick your tongue is, if your barbell fit, if your barbell feels very fitted, then probably size you need to go with. Because after, if after 2 weeks you have no swelling and you talk normal and it's just there and it's okay and it doesn't feel big or anything, then yes. But if it clanks against your teeth, mine does not. It rests on on the gum part behind my teeth, not like on the upstairs. There's like a wall, and then there's like back into the cavity. It rests about uh, against the wall. It does not clank against my teeth at all, and the bottom part rests uh, on the underside of my tongue. Yeah. So, um, also, as far as when you get new piercing jewelry, whether it's from the internet or the place, um, sterilizing it, you take off the little balls and you sterilize the bar itself in mouthwash or alcohol. And the little balls you can put in mouthwash, alcohol free mouthwash. And if they're acrylic or plastic, do not, I repeat, do not leave them in there for a long period of time because my patient said that they will melt. So, watch that. Um, also, if you need any more help on how to sterilize, that's how you sterilize your jewelry. Get off the internet and it's stainless steel. Unscrew the balls, put them in out. Put them either in alcohol or alcohol-free mouthwash. Don't leave them in there for too long, otherwise they'll melt. And put your bar in alcohol or regular mouthwash too. Um, wash your hands thoroughly, thoroughly before and after you handle your piercing. Uh, you don't want any infections. And after they switch out your barbell, you're pretty much able to switch out by yourself. Um, just go to the supply or dollar store and buy a pack of latex gloves and, um, just make sure you grab your tongue dry before you're removing your, the, uh, removing your body to switch out your piercing. Um, you're gonna either unscrew a ball from the top or the bottom, take out the barbell, screw the ball back on, another one, unscrew it, top or, to the bottom. Uh, piercers either pierce from the top or the bottom as well. Um, but do that. Make sure the balls are screwed on tight. Because you don't want to accidentally lose balls, swallow a ball, or, you know, anything else that could possibly happen. Um, Alright, for the finishing pictures only.